Hey guys, Sam here. Um, so I am going to be doing a review on the Fabricon Premium Anti-Blue Light Tempered Glass Screen Protector for the iPhone 6S Plus. This also fits the iPhone 6 Plus and they did send me one for the iPhone 6 and the 6S because the dimensions are the exact same and this is a 0.3 mm. That's the thickness of the glass. So this glass is supposed to reduce the um, the and uh, blue light up to 45 percent according to them so this is hd clarity 9h certified that's like usually the thickness i believe uh, for the um, tempered glass um, you are able to do things on it without any interruptions fingerprint and everything like that so everything basically works because it does have all the cutouts properly made for it so this is what it says here so it says shows the wavelength and uh, things like that so it says premium anti anti-blue light tempered glass with HD clarity up filters up to 45% of the harmful blue light so as you know that blue light is what keeps you awake and it as it decreases your melatonin levels and so that's why they recommend having yellow light in your bedroom or in your side table lamps and things like that just to help you fall asleep a little bit better blue light is basically daylight and um, so it's precise laser cutout provides maximum protection for entire flat surface now this glass protector is not edge to edge this is going to be the one that's just on the flat part of the iphone 6 and the 6 plus and the 6s plus and the 6 plus as you know that these phones have curved glass edges so it's not edge to edge but it is going to be case friendly so it's going to work out really well uh 9h is the hardness so it resists scratch oil and fingerprints and things like that so just about like every screen protector out there does provide that but the difference between the regular screen protectors and this is that it filters out or reduces the blue light so basically the light that comes off your iPhone screen is going to be reduced in a way but let's see so one thing I really like about this case uh, or sorry this screen protector is extremely well packaged I've never seen a screen protector to be honest packaged as well as this one so it's beautifully packaged and then then you have the uh, the blue anti blue light screen protector the glass one and then another uh, envelope right here that contains the accessories such as the alcohol tablet microfiber cloth and dust removal tape so let's open this up because this is what we need here so i'm going to be putting on my iphone 6s plus if you've seen in one of my other videos i did a review for this and also when i applied this skin on it but just to show you guys that this is the iphone 6s plus i will as you can see has a touch id so that's just to confirm for somebody that might be wondering so to get started, I did already do a pretty good job. I used um, before one of my glass cleaner glasses cleaners and already have cleared it. But as you know, dust always settles. So there is a lot of dust already on here. So we will go ahead and use the provide accessories. So again, I just want to thank uh, Fravicon for sending out this product for review. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's something completely different than what I've had before. Okay, actually this you could open up nicely. So I do have a cloth over here already, but we'll use theirs. Let's get this alcohol wipe pad on here. We have a couple lines that I would like to get rid of just to get it cleaned up nice, even though it already is pretty clean. I had a glass screen protector on here before that was edge to edge and honestly it didn't work too well. Most glass screen protectors that are edge that don't work too well today unless they have some sort of curved edges which is very rare to find. So I'm pretty happy that I got this one just in time because my edge to edge one was falling apart to the max. Okay and I also want to thank my nephew for holding this iPhone 6 plus uh, sorry the iPhone 6 we're using here to make this video. So. Let's see. All right, that looks very clean. A uh, couple of dust particles there. No, actually that's underneath the screen. So this looks really clean right now. So I'm gonna hold it down. One of the tips I can give you guys, if you are um, ever putting a screen protector on any iPhone or any phone in general, one of the best tips I can give you, once you have cleaned the device completely and you know it's dust particle free, hold it upside down. Do not put it face up because as you know, dust settles and by the time you end up taking this out and getting around to applying it there's going to be particles underneath and then it's going to create a whole new mess and challenge for you and never hold the screen protectors face up either 
So hold it down. Now that we have it, we are ready to apply. And as you know, the glass screen protectors are very easy to apply. So all you have to do is just align, which is usually the challenging part. And so everybody has their own ways of doing this. This is my way. I like to just align the top. And then I like to have a look at where the home button is. And once I have the two aligned, okay, we almost have the perfect. So this is my way, guys. Um, like I said, everybody has their own way of doing this. Some people do it differently. They align the bottom first. So to me, that looks like really good. It's very well aligned. So I'm going to pull that out, let it drop. And with the glass screen protectors, unlike the conventional ones, you just let it sit down and press in the center. Usually it irons out. And as you can see, that is actually perfect. There's not a single spot on here where there's any kind of air bubbles or anything like that. So just off the bat, one thing I noticed here is the screen protector has this bluish hue to it on the screen, on the LCD. But when you look at over the white part, uh, you guys can't really see it. But in person, I can see, actually, you can see it right there. Now you can see it, how it's got like a yellowish tint to it. So let's see what we can do here. Hold on a second. What we'll do is we'll try to type a note just to see. So as you can see the space bar and everything else, all the keys are working. So we'll remove that and then we'll do some drawing just to try out the pencil. Just to see if the screen protector is working everywhere. Oops. Okay, so all the edges are working as you can see. So it's working very well. Um, I'm not seeing any issues whatsoever. As you can see, it's very sensitive. The sensitivity is great. Um, so overall, it's working really well. Um, so this is the, again, the blue light, anti-blue light screen protector. Um, because daytime right now, I can't really tell you how well it's gonna work, but on the iPhone 6 that I have it on, it seems to be working very well. It seems to be easier on the eyes. Um, so I can't show you guys that part, but of course this screen protector is designed to reduce it and in my opinion it does what it's designed to do. So if you're looking for a screen protector and you are worried about, you know, the blue light that how it affects you when you use your phone at nighttime or in dark spaces, then I would highly recommend this screen protector. So it's by Fravicon and it comes in this beautiful packaging that you see right here. And I assure you, you're not going to find another screen protector that comes this well packed and with detailed instructions, very well laid out. So again, thanks to Fabcom for sending this out. Um, I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Um, thanks for checking out my video. And if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.